Welcome Bay State Running Family Division 5 State Championship Preview by Bay State Running. You can see I'm flying solo today, minus Baby Yoda right here. He's still with me. But um, everybody else is out there working really hard for you all. Coach Shep, Coach H, Coach Martin, they're all at the state meet tonight for Division 3, bringing you great coverage like they always do because they love track and field. And they believe that uh, everybody that wants to stay home tonight but still wants to enjoy it can do that for free. And they are uh, bringing you videos and pictures and everything in between. So check out uh, Bay State Running at YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. You know where to find us. Otherwise, I don't think you'd be watching this video. So let's get right into the Division 5 Girls State Meet. We'll do a preview here. I first want to give a shout out to uh, Mia Sheldon of Douglas, the junior. She's going to be doing in the para category. She's doing shot put in 55 dash. We wish her luck. And we're going to move right into the girls 55 meter hurdles. Only three girls under nine uh, coming in rank first. April Luters of Linfield, 8.71. Victoria Martin of Greenfield, 8.84. And Gwyneth Fitzpatrick of Hamilton Wenham, 8.95. Um, should be pretty close race there. Girls 55 dash. Your top ranked athlete is Lauren Sabloni of Austin Prep, 7.33. Behind her, the sophomore from Amesbury, Nixie Raymond, 7.445. She's one of the fastest sophomores in the state this year. Jordan Turner, Carver, 7.47. Emily Hickey, Austin Prep, 7.48. Um, and 7.49 is Savannah Pineda of Gardner. So very, very close field here. Um, Lauren is a little bit ahead from Austin Prep, but behind her, everybody is within four one hundredths of a second. So um, it should be interesting on the medal stand there for the girls' uh, 55 hurdles. I mentioned Lauren Sabloni earlier in the, in the dash. She's ranked first there. She's also the only one under 41 in the girls' 300 with a 40.48. So she's looking to have a big day there as a senior. Savannah Pineda, she was also in the 55 dash, 41.14. Um, and always be on the lookout uh, for the young sophomore here out of Murdoch, Lily Digman, uh, 41.66. Moving on to the girls 600. Very interesting race here because the top two seeds ran these times together at the MSTCA State Coaches Meet. You have Laura McBride out of Oakmont. She's a senior with a 139.52. And Lily Digman, the sophomore out of Murdoch, who I just mentioned earlier, with a 139.54. Two one hundredths of a second separate them. Now, it's an interesting showdown because, and I don't even know if it's a, it's the first time they've actually run, I think this season, they're going to be head to head. Now, Laura's time of 139.54 came out of the state coaches meet, but it came out of the penultimate heat. And she ran away with the penultimate heat. Lily ran, the, um, uh, ran for the victory in the seated heat, but didn't win the state coaches by two one hundredths of a second because Laura out of the penultimate heat had run um, two one hundredths faster. So this time, they're going to be head-to-head, -head, so that should be very interesting. They're the only two to break 140 um, so far in Division 5, so uh, that should be a really fun matchup for those two girls. Amber Le uh, Latuka from Bishop Stang coming in with a 140 in third there. Girls 1,000 meter, Mia Cromwell out of Manchester, Essex. She's your senior at three flat. She's the one to beat. Uh, the next best athlete is Riley Clark, the sophomore out of Littleton, um, who has been making a name for herself since last year with a 305. Then it jumps to a bunch of 311s. Emily Booten from Pope, uh, Pope Francis, Hannah Beckman from the Bromfield School, Hannah Bradbury of Seekonk, and then the freshman out of Lunenburg, Abby uh, Rodriguez. So you got a bunch of girls at 311 there in the girls' thousand. That should be interesting. Um, looks like it's a fight for third there. Uh, uh, from those four girls. The girls one mile. 
We have a lot of great milers in this state right now. Let me tell you, Bethany Steiner from Millis, the juniors coming in ranked at a 459. We have so many girls under five flat right now in the mile in Massachusetts. It's pretty incredible. Um, and most of them broke five at the New Balance Grand Prix. Bethany was one of them. Um, however, don't count out Emily Booten from um, Pope Francis. She's coming in with a five flat point seven six. She's ranked third in the thousand which is about 45 minutes after the mile, so she might have a decision to make there. Um, but being so close to Bethany Steiner, um, who has broken five and is about two seconds faster in the mile, that could be a race there too, but never count out Tessa McLean. She's an incredible athlete as well out of the Bromfield School. She's a senior coming in with a 506. Um, she will also always battle in a race. In the girls two mile, Emily Booten is ranked number one with an 11.08 behind her, Tessa McLean from Bromfield, 11.17. Jen Cosino from Sutton, uh, from Sutton with 11.18. And then it falls, uh, falls back a little bit there. But I do want to mention the number four ranked girl in the girls two mile um, out of Lunenburg. She's an eighth grader with an 11.28. Uh, so the top three girls there, Emily, Tessa, and Jen are seniors. And then the fourth ranked girl is an eighth grader, Lauren Long. Uh, so very interesting. And then the next best athlete, Kylie Marion of Narragansett, the sophomore, is almost 12 minutes, 11.59.37. So uh, that race should get significantly spaced out. But I'll go back to Emily Booten again. Um, she's, she's in the mile, two mile, and thousand. That's the triple of death. No one can do that, I don't think. It's possible, but very unlikely. However, um, it's a question of what does Emily do? Does she battle Bethany in the mile? Does she try to just go for it and take it in the two mile? Going back to the thousand. Um, she's ranked third there, uh, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see the choices that some of these athletes and coaches make going forward. Girl shot put, Siobhan O'Sullivan from Ursuline Academy, the clear leader here, 39-9, uh, uh, roughly or over four feet, um, a better seed time, I'm sorry, better seed throw than her teammate. Caroline Afonso of Ursuline Academy as well, 35, four and a half. So Ursuline gonna get a lot of points there in the, the girls shot put. Uh, girls high jump, Samantha Schoenberg has been putting on a show all year long, hard to beat. She's always the last one in it, um, always deciding what height she wants to go for, but she's coming in with a five feet, five, uh, five inch mark. And then after that, it looks like there's a, a whole bunch of athletes in it for the mix for medals. Lindsay Marjanski of South Hadley, 5'3". Nicole Lawrence of Lunenburg, 5'2". Uh, Lauren Sabloni of Austin Prep, 5'2". Paige Demanche of Mur Murdoch, 5'2". Tanner Long Longo of Pope Francis, 5'1". Laurie McBride, Oakmont, 5'1". So you got a whole bunch of athletes there um, in it for the medal mix. And the girls' long, long jump looks like a, a two-lady race here with Emily Hickey of Austin Prep, 17 feet, 3 and three quarters and right behind her by a quarter of an inch, Jules Hogan of Ad Advanced Math and Science, 17 feet, three and, uh, and a half. So it'll be those two. And then there's a, a pretty decent drop off there for Farrell Dawson of South Hadley, uh, 16, 10 and a quarter. For the relays, girls four by 200 meter, Austin Prep, 148.52. A little over two seconds ahead of the Bromfield schools 150.64 and then they're about two seconds ahead of South Hadley's 152 so uh, Austin prep uh, they're in it for the team title here so uh, that 4 by 2 is probably going to be fairly significant in the girls 4 by 8 hard to pick against this Littleton girls team they were stacked last year they're stacked this year uh, they're coming in with a 10 flat uh, there's no teams in D5 that have broken 10 yet, but um, the next best team in the girls 4x8 is the Bromfield School with a 10-21. So they have a 21-second lead from the Littleton girls. Uh, they might not shy away from their individual events with that type of lead uh, seed-wise, but we'll see. Maybe they keep some people sharp and uh, Littleton goes for the, the, the D5 state championship in the 4x8. Bromfield 1021, Stoneham 1033, Martha's Vineyard 1035, South Hadley 1043, Murdoch 1043, Dover Sherborne 1047, and Seekonk 1050. So all of those, uh, the top ranked eight teams right there, um, you can see any of them kind of, 
they're all metal contenders for sure, and they can all they can kind of flip flop there. Our last race of the day. Interesting to note. I've said this on almost every video. The girls four by four. It could come down to it. The teams that are in it right now for the team title, in my opinion, you have Austin Prep, the Bromfield School, Littleton, South Hadley, and Murdoch. And in the girls four by four, there's three teams in that in the top eight that could be in it for the team title that could have significance at the end of the meet. South Hadley is ranked first coming in with a 412, significantly ahead of seconds Littleton, 421. And then in seventh, ranked seventh in the girls four by four, Austin Prep with the 423. So uh, second through uh, basically 10th here, even 11th, everyone is so close, even 12th. Um, it could go anywhere for just to, just to get a medal here in the four by four, but the teams to watch out for there are probably gonna be South Hadley, Littleton, and Austin Prep as they're gonna be in it for the team score. And that wraps up. The girls, Division 5 preview. We wish you all the best. We wish you happy Valentine's Day. Um, have a great weekend. And we're going to sign off here from the previews at Bay State Running. Um, we love all of you. We appreciate all your support um, this past week. And um, we will continue to bring you the best coverage we can for Massachusetts High School track and field because we believe in it. We love it. And uh, we know you all do too. So good luck.